What's going on, guys? Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Veterans Day to all y'all veterans out there. But uh, uh, this morning, I'm going to be answering a question that I got recently from this video that I uploaded yesterday about the 17 magic masks. And it's the one that's... This is amazing. Do you think you could do a tutorial use rotoscoping for After Effects instead of colors? So pretty much, uh, I think what they're asking is, can you use the masks to remove the background instead of just changing color in the Vinci Resolve 17? And I'm pretty sure you can. And that's what I'm going to show you today um, in this video. So let's go ahead. Uh, two questions. Start skin. Probably all right. Answer that one um, right here. Maybe a silly question. But last anyway. Do you think magic mask be used to separate the subject from the background a a la rotoscoping and that's what we're going to do so we have the file here in the vintage resolve 17 and we're going to go ahead and go to the color tab and then we're going to go to magic mic ma ma magic mask uh so in mag magic mask mode i'm going to go ahead and make sure we have our qualifier on and we have it right here to plus and let's go ahead and draw the line I shrunk the footage to make this uh, tutorial smaller and shorter, so let's go ahead and press play. And Neural Engine or Unreal Engine mix the letters around. Neural is also Unreal. Just blew your guys' mind. Anyways, with that being uh, done, let's go ahead and turn on the masks. So I have her selected. If I want it inverted, I can do that as well. So. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the little uh, line. Uh, let's blur radius again to 50. And then what I'll do is, if you go right here, you see this blue little dot. If I take this right here, and I'm gonna remove this right here. There you go. Toggle mask overlay, and now you have that girl keyed out. And then what we can do is drop in like a green screen. Or any backdrop, really. I just don't have any backdrop. And there you go. Now you have a green screen girl that wasn't originally green screen. Similar to After Effects Roto Brush. That's it, guys. Really easy. Couple of clicks, couple of drags. Uh, that's it. I hope I answered you guys' questions. If you have any, um, if you have any other questions, or if you have a be better method than doing this, let me know because I would love to know as well. Uh, additionally, uh, I know I got a lot of questions about Neural Engine in the Vinci Resolve. Unfortunately, the Neural Engine goodies only comes with the paid studio version. It was really, really dumb where it was, but I finally, but I finally found the answer. So if I go to um, right here in Reddit. The, the, I actually posted it, somebody in uh, Reddit was asking, but uh, I found that the Vinci Resolve Studio 17 includes everything in the free version plus the Vinci Resolve Neural Engine, uh, including the tools, doesn't have extra resolve effects filters and fair light effects, but like I said previously guys, if you buy a camera, Blackmagic camera, like a Pocket 4K, you get the Vinci Resolve. Now I've had my DaVinci Resolve since 2013 with the original camera, so, and they don't charge you. For the upgrades so i've had this license forever so go ahead go to ebay sometimes they're up there for 100 150 uh 50 dollars i know personally i've sold a couple for 100 150 dollars on ebay uh yeah if you guys have any questions let me know and i'll see you guys in the manana